guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl maureen glow you guys Peruzzi finally responded to his former record label boss he posted on twitter and i quote i ain't cheat nobody i ain't take nobody's money believe what you see on here that's good for you stay stupid talking about don't bite the finger that fed you who fed who when where i introduced you as what but you told me to so that you won't pay him for the fyp remix you are crying about songs i wrote for blood what about the ones you sold to nollywood and other individuals without my consent did you pay for any of the songs you are talking about you rented an apartment for me not be you sign me was i homeless f this shit how you turned from reminding me every day that you're just doing this to help me and you don't need it breaking the system where i had recorded over 27 songs because you had issues with your girl i lost all data and had to start recording again now you wanna die for it okay you guys um just in case you don't know what transpired or you're wondering what's going on apparently peruzzi former record label boss with the name king patrick called out peruzzi and davido on social media with an hashtag surviving peruzzi he claimed with a receipt to prove davido holds his recent sources to him as songs like fire mind and risky were recorded by peruzzi for golden boy and as such owned by golden boy that davido never paid him instead he took him off royalties from the songs and that davido knew peruzzi was signed to his record label but went ahead to audio sign him without following due process that when he reached out to davido all he had to say was that peruzzi is not signed to dmw in response to all of this you guys davido commented i quote hashtag surviving peruzzi one of the best things that ever happened to me and my career so if there is a problem it's you my guy patrick who did not let this slide replied davido when they call you frog it's not only because you look like one but because you think like one david your comment only implies that you owe me gratitude for bringing out peruzzi you are a effing disappointment leader of tout and a effing user I'm responsible for the resurrection of your career. I warned you from day one. You no won't try me. Stop being bitch in the comment section and pay me. Nonsense. Ouch. Davido. Anyways, you guys, that is it for Davido and Peruzzi. Moving on, Bob Risky, who is not ready to give or share his crown with anyone as he posted a video of himself holding some bundles of cash and captioned, Senator's girlfriend, did I hear there is another upcoming Bobriski? You go also tire. My crown is not for anyone. It's obvious he was referring to Jay Boogie, who is often referred to as upcoming Bobriski. I beg, what Moses not go see for Red Sea? Well, that's just me saying, you guys. Next up, Omoni Oboni wants whosoever, as she posted, I am very ambitious person. I have learned to stop apologizing for it. I also believe very strongly that we can all win together. If you think bringing someone else down is the only way you can climb, darling, that's witchcraft right there. We are all striving to be better than we were yesterday. Stop talking about other people. Also on your lane. I'm not going to dump down to make you feel better. Get up, let's go. P.S. If you really can't stand the eat, only leave the kitchen. It's 2020. Hashtag Omoni Farms. Let's win. Oh well, let's hope she wasn't referring to anyone. But if she is, we're gonna know somehow, someday, you guys. Moving on, Anita Joseph and Nina of Big Brother Ninja Season 3 are set to wed in February 2020. According to SDK blog, Anita Joseph is a Valentine's Day bride. Why Nina's uh, marriage introduction was carried out in Nina's family house in Oweri on Thursday, January 9, 2020, and the ceremony proper we owed in February 2020. According to SDK source, Nina is marrying the man he met in 2020 as he stuck on Nina and has been very supportive and as such decided to marry her. Well, there is a speculation that Nina who left for USA some months ago came back with pregnancy and a buggy at feet. Oh well. 
Congratulations to both Anita and Nina on their upcoming marriage ceremony. Meanwhile, Ubi Franklin has been appointed as a special advisor on tourism by Cross River State Governor. This was made known to the public by Ubi as he showed gratitude by giving thanks to God and to the Governor for giving him the golden opportunity to serve. Congratulations to you, Ubi. So, you guys, on that note, I will end it here. And please subscribe if you haven't like if you do share and comment and i yours truly will see you on my next one until then you guys be good be kind be all of those good stuff and yeah bye bye and peace out Mwah.